Hello, welcome to The Mysterious, where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm, of course, the himself, Zeke Lamone, and this is my review, thoughts, and possibly a rant on Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 2. The first seven episodes were debuted in May, May 27th on Memorial Day weekend. And then now we have the final two episodes, and this is it, um, until, you know, Season 5, where everything really does end at that point. And I gotta say, I really like this season overall. This season is really, really good. It, it is the best season of the four to me. But I'm also someone who thinks each season is a little better. I remember in, the, in my volume one review that I said, I don't think I like it yet because it wasn't complete yet. But now that it's complete, I really enjoy it. I will say the biggest problem that I have with volume two is that the tempo isn't really consistent. And I think that is what the run times is that I think... It, what it feels like, I, I wasn't there in the boardroom, and maybe, I'd, and maybe I'm completely wrong here, which I most likely am, is that it really felt like, all right, we really want to stress the wrong time with this, especially with the final episode. The final episode, I really felt it a couple of times. And the tempo just wasn't, like, just consistent, you know what I mean? So, like, sometimes it would be like, all right, we're hitting the go button, you know, well, well, at the end, so let's go, 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 go. All right, and now we're just hanging out. We're just chilling. And then it was like, okay, go, 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 And now we're just chilling, and we're just going to stop. If it was just more of a consistent tempo, you could make slow really fast if you have a good tempo. You can make fast. Go on for a little bit as long as you keep it consistent. And the tempo just wasn't really consistent. And it was really shown in the uh, finale at the beginning, that first hour. It, it drags. You feel it. You feel it. That first hour. But once the second hour kicks in, or, yeah, and once the once it starts to go with the second hour, that last hour and 30, oh, it, it flies through the races. I, I don't really feel it at all. It, it, keeps a, it keeps a very good, consistent tempo. And then, you know, I was like, damn, we're in the third act. I was worried that we were going slow, but then it really picks up. All right, so now we're going to get into a little bit of spoilers um, with some storyline beats. One Another problem I have with this season as an overall is that I really didn't feel like a lot of people arced. Max marked. She, uh, marked. <laughs> arced. <laughs> Max arced. <laughs> you know, she went from, you know, please leave me alone to, like, really asking for help. And, you know, she doesn't die. Um, and that, that's another problem I have that we'll get into. But, you know, she arced. She went from leave me alone to... Being okay, we're asking for help, which is a good arc to have. Um, Lucas arc from like, oh, I want to be a jock. Like, you know what? It's cool being a nerd, and yeah, not not all jocks are really cool. Or it seems like he said no, no jocks were good. Um, Eleven arc, she got her powers back. After that, I'm really having a hard time knowing who really arc. I, Mike somewhat had an arc. Was like, yeah, it's okay to yeah. Mike arced overall. Will was really there to really help Mike. And I know, like, his sexuality is, like, a big story point that people want to, like, dig into. And, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty apparent. He is, he is, uh, he is gay. And they, they play it as a straight man. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I can't really go into, like, you know, yeah, they played that right, played that wrong. It. It tugged on the heartstrings for me. I was feeling for him in that scene in the van where he was like, yeah, you're the heart, Mike, and all this stuff. And, like, saying that it was loving, but it was really him, how he's feeling, and how uh, his brother knew what was going on. And, like, I was feeling it. It, it felt pretty, it, it felt, it, I felt the heartstrings. Now, is that a legit representation of gay people coming out to their straight friends? I don't know, but, because, you know, I'm not gay, but... I, I felt it like it was it was very it was very it was very very beautiful um but yeah he was really there to really serve Mike to help Mike get to his arc Nancy and Jonathan no arc whatsoever they were just placeholders and now we have another love triangle with Steve and all that will they get back together or not um and going into season five like it just really felt like, all right, we're just going to put these guys to the side until we get to uh, season five. Because, like, at the end, when they were, like, talking about the college, it's like, oh, yeah, no, I need to tell Nancy. And, like, 
okay, yeah, this is this is gonna be his journey to realize, yeah, I need to tell Nancy. And then he's like, yeah, no, it hasn't come in yet. And like, oh yeah, no, they're fine. Like, no, she she didn't come clean about how mad she was actually mad at Jonathan, and Jonathan didn't come clean about the college stuff. So they didn't arc. Steve, I mean, he just continues to be the best character in the whole damn show. Um, he didn't really arc either. Robin, somewhat. It's kind of like in the Nancy and Jonathan era. But yeah, you, you see what I mean. And the whole Russia storyline, it kind of turned... Like, you know, I really liked how, like, yeah, they were all separate, but yet they were all together in the end. But the Russia part, I was like, yeah, they just threw it in to try to somewhat make it seem like they're relevant to the final fight. When really, they were just on their own side quest the whole time. And it was fine. I actually didn't mind the Russia stuff at all. But to the overall plot... Hey, Hopper's back. I mean, that's really all we got from uh, from that storyline, indeed. Like, I know they, like, t try to do the fire thing, and, like, oh, yeah, they're helping. They weren't helping. Like, they, they, they were just there. That was the equivalent of, like, your little brother wanting to come and, like, hey, or your little sister coming, like, hey, can I play video games with you? And you go, yeah, sure. And you don't actually plug in the remote on your PlayStation 2, and you just, they just think that they're playing, and you'll just say, eh, gotcha. That's where Hopper, Joyce, and uh, Murray were in this season. To me, anyway. Um, but yeah, I liked how, you know, Eleven was actually able and going to mine. We had the huge mine fight. Her and Vecna going at it. And I like how Vecna was, um, you know, doesn't die. He is the main villain coming in. And I think we're going to get Vecna and the Mind Flare in season five. Like, it's good. It, we're going to have all three villains. Or four, if you count the demo dogs, in for the, for the finale. Um... And also, did anyone else, like, really start to hear number one a lot more once Vecna was revealed to be one? <laughs> like, I was like, I hear him a lot more. Maybe it's just because, like, oh, I know now. But, yeah. But now, into my rant. I, I harped on this on the last, but, like, on, on, on my volume one. But I'm going to continue to harp on it. This should have been goddamn weekly. Like... If this was weekly, and we just kept building momentum, like, this show was pure event television. Pure event television. If this comes out weekly, you are getting so many views, and then so many people going back and watching from the beginning and catching up to be part of the conversation. Because I'm telling you, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram would have gone nuts every single week. What's going to happen making all these theories and all this stuff. But now, after this weekend, after this 4th of July weekend, on Tuesday, July 5th, the Stranger Things talk will be over. And it's just going to be lost in, into the security. As if we went week by week, if this was relayed on, on May 27th, we would only been on episode 6. We would have three more weeks left. I would have been doing my Was Stranger Things Season 4 by 1 good a series on it and the discussions would have been freaking awesome and then going on Twitter and going onto all these other platforms and seeing all the discussions and we're all theorizing what's going to happen, who's going to die, who's going to live, what kind of storylines are going to happen, when are they all going to come together? But instead, it's all pinched and now it's all gone and now it's done. And after this weekend, no one's going to talk about it again. And, you know, the proof is in the pudding from Volume 1. We literally had like a week where we were, because we had that theorized budget of July 1st and then the talk didn't come back in until the week of volume 2 was going to come out and it just really frustrates me because this season was phenomenal it was great it is now my favorite television show of the year of 2022 now that it is complete it was Peacemaker but now adding the two episodes makes it complete yeah I have some problems with you know not everyone art Joyce Hopper and Murray were a little bit of a sideline Will wasn't um, as much of a dominant feature. Not everyone art, yes, but this season still overall, just because you know just how epic it was, was phenomenal, and it is my favorite season. I really do hope in season five it is more of an ensemble piece. Um, you know, Stranger Things has a playbook. It, it does, and you know, once you're once you're aware of the playbook, you don't really feel a lot of stakes <laughs> because like. Even as Max was in the air, I was like, I don't think she's going to die. She might break a couple legs, but I really don't think she'll die. And sure enough, and then I was like, oh, they did it. 
because the four uh, alarms, uh, the four alarms go off. And I was like, oh my God, they did it. And then I was like, no, you're not gonna die. Now she's just in a coma. Like she's gonna wake up in season five. Like, come on now. Like, I, I, and I love Max, but I just really think this would have gave that season that extra oomph if she would have bit the bullet. And yeah, and he died. But again, if you know the Stranger Things formula, you know he was gonna bite it. Season two, Bob. Season three, um, Lexi. <laughs> season four is Eddie. Who's gonna be in season five? Maybe the girl that Robin is trying to get with. Cause she'll probably be part of the group. They're gonna become friends and maybe she'll come out and then boom, she'll bite the bullet. Like that's probably what's gonna happen. Cause that's the Stranger Things playbook and we do not stray away from the Stranger Things playbook. And I mean, it hasn't worked. It hasn't worn off. It has not worn off. It works every time. But man, I, I, I just like I liked Eddie. I loved Eddie. I just knew not to get too attached to him because I knew he was most likely going to die. I am glad the basketball player died though. Like as soon as I saw his body split in half, I went good. <laughs> I was like, all right, whatever. Like if I was doing reactions, I would have gone yes. I would have clapped as his body got solid in half. Um, but yeah, like. I didn't really tear up during Eddie's death until he was like, I didn't run away this time. I was like, oh, Eddie. Yeah, Eddie Arc too. Eddie Arc too. Eddie Arc as well. But again, I just I just knew his fate. From, from, from episode two, I was like, man, I like this character. Oh, I like this character. That's literally what I was like. Like, while during early, in the early episodes, I was like, huh, I like Eddie. Oh, crap, I like Eddie. Like, it was just one, one of those things. So, yeah. In season five, I want more of an ensemble. I want them all interacting with each other. One giant cohesive story. Um, it says splitting them up like the Stranger Things playbook, but they most likely will. I don't really know how they're going to do the time jump now because it really seems like they need to pick up right where they left off because now the upside down is apparently in the real world. But I guess if you like, you know, oh, a couple years have passed. They've all grown and now like, yeah, this is how Hawkins looks in real life. But yeah. I, I, like I said, I enjoy the show. Just some things could be better, and I really wish they were weekly. And I probably would have been, I probably would have been more satisfied. And maybe I wouldn't have noticed the tempo if it was more separate. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Stranger Things season four as a whole, or on volume two? Comment below and let me know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, hit that subscribe button as I'm trying to grow into my YouTube career. And that'll be it for me, guys. And I'll see you here next time at Lemon Studios.